the hip, the hop, the hip, the hip to the hip, hip hop, Carago, he's an half hawk slayer, to the bang bang boogie, ooh, uh, shoot a long bow, but in the end he'll use his cutlass. Now what you're listening to is the Danger Club, and we're rocking to the beat. Me, the club, and my friends are going to try and chop off feet. Hey now, the bang bang boogie, so you up, jump, subscribe. Previously on the Danger Club podcast... This man's stealing drugs. Everybody, this man's no, stealing, this dwarf's no. stealing drugs. Yeah, just, they wouldn't do that. Nobody from the carnival would do this. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> Is there any knockers? Fight me. Oh, shit. Natural one. A natural one. Oh. Oh. Natural one. Good God, see. Oh. Ah, fire. Eyes, eyes. Fulton Battlestone strides out onto the landing above you. Oh! The adventure continues. Now. Slimy Sammy slipped on a sandal. Slum blum blim blum blue. <laughs> Tiny Temper tickled his tonsils with his testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Perky Peter picked his penis from a pickled pajamas. <laughs> Morgan Freeman went to the library. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> Spat. It's, uh, it's been a while since we had a little vocal warm-up here, so I uh, thought we'd uh, best get that going. Welcome to the Danger Club podcast. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, rolling through this we hope you are having a, a good summer uh, as the summer wears on. We're into uh, the fun festival season. Uh, we're having a uh, we're having a good time. Um, it's intense, right? Oh, <laughs> I've tried about that ten again, times. I yeah. feel like it's that was a good one, and no one week. wants to. Anyway, you just get thirty Did you keep degrees. That rolling around your head the whole week. I yeah, I, I felt like it deserved more, and you're all assholes. <laughs> That's just what Morgan Freeman said when he met the library. <laughs> You're all assholes. <laughs> For five miles. <laughs> just start, start, start joining. Do you have a book on the Shawshank Redemption, please? Before he goes to, that's it. He just Why goes to find the book. He finds the book <laughs> of the movies he's in. Surely he'd know the end. <laughs> it's a good book. Have you read it? No. no. <laughs> His character's um, uh, got ginger hair. Yeah, he's is a redhead, isn't he? Yeah. Red I haven't head. read a lot actually uh, by Stephen King, but I had started The Dark Tower a while back. That was oh, yeah. quite interesting. Sort of fucked with me a little bit. I, Dark Tower. Yeah, I like the Richard Bachman novels that he wrote. <laughs> Thinner, The Running Man, excellent. Mm. I mean, it's a funny film with Arnie, but it's a great book. Yeah, he, ma- he makes good books, Stephen King. Big yeah. Fan. Too Big much up exposition. Stephen King. <laughs> if you're listening that's a uh, that's Definitely a bold opening be. to a podcast James is <laughs> Stephen King could do better that's, uh, <laughs> I mean that's uh, he's done alright yeah. he really, to be honest he's alright you know, right. fight us Stephen King <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's a bit of an underachiever right, you know I mean what has he done <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, and his son Joe Hill, very, very, very good comic book writer. Lock and Key, fantastic <laughs> comic oh, book series. Yeah, of course really, it's lock really, and key. really, really worth a read. All right, a little bit of comic book and book recommendations there from the Danger Club. Uh, so, what is going on um, in our world? What is going on with the Danger Club on your murder investigation? Things are getting pretty intense now. Someone else <laughs> is dead. Sorry. Look, for God's sake, I love that your own pun. Out of cars. context, that somebody else made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, you're a mess. <laughs> it's really hot in here. We um. Let's go. So take off all here. your clothes. No, all don't. Right. <laughs> We, we, we had a, we've had a no drinking rule in for the last few weeks while we've been recording, and now because it's getting towards the end of summer, um, we were thought, hey, you know, let's 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 have a drink for this one. That rule is immediately back in effect after, <laughs> after, after this. After we've down these drinks, started, yeah. started a fight yeah. with Stephen King, and then laughed at, <laughs> laughed he at puns. It. it was asking for it. Let's have some adventuring. So you yeah. um, you've gone to the house. 
um, of Anahim Brayton, who you know is uh, involved uh, to do with shipping uh, somehow in Il Surian. Uh, you found a note apparently from his company in, in the pocket of the body of Filton Leg, uh, the reprobate who you found dead. Um, who some people from the town seem to think was murdered by people from the carnival. That's a theme that's been running through uh, a lot of things. But it's really making things tense. Almira Dellison has been arrested now. Um, and you have gone uh, to Brayton's house looking for some evidence. You were then ambushed by a group of thugs that you... Um, I think you dealt with pretty well. Uh, how's everyone feeling, hit points-wise? You're all, all right. You're not bad. Not bad. It was touch and go. Uh, Phil just suffered one point of damage. It could easily have killed him. Yeah, when you when you only have six points of damage mm. uh, that you can take, one point yeah. of damage, um, that, that means quite a bit. Uh, so you're feeling all right, but then, then something has happened, hasn't it? Stepping out onto the balcony, uh, onto the landing, rather, uh, above you, is it apparently Phil Fulton Battlestone, the, uh, the fighter dwarf. The Scottish Scotland, fighter dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> um, Apparently. Level yeah. one Scottish dwarf. Scottish dwarf. Um, is there splud on him? There is. Splud. He's covered in splud. <laughs> he's got some meat. <laughs> and <laughs> blades. Blades. String. On his face. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Scotland. Uh, for what is about to happen. Oh, just to be clear, we're, we're definitely mocking Ross, not Scotland. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a given. Scotland's great. Big up Scotland. Just about yeah. before like, half of us descend on Edinburgh this, yeah. this season. Yeah. 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 We love Scotland, guys. We love you. So, um, thank you, uh, as always, for all the new people who've joined us uh, over the summer. Um, thank you for anyone who's jumping on the old Facebook or the Twitter or the Instagram or anything. I'm sound like Colin on that. The old, the old Facebook. Facebook. The Facebook, eh? <laughs> Not the new Facebook. Nah, is that what's all Get on the old Facebook, boys. Here we go. Oh, crikey, mum. Hello. 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 Colin here. <laughs> Get on the old Facebook. Your old friendly so local neighbourhood Colin. Have a cup of tea and biscuits, shall oh, we? Oh, oh, crikey. Oh, we are in the car. We only yeah. mock it because, like, every time, every time Colin's done one of his brilliant chirpy intros, like one of us does the in- intro for the week afterwards, and it just sounds like we've just rolled out of bed and we're like, <laughs> "Oh, fucking podcast!" <laughs> 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 Shit thing. Colin's all like, "Oh yeah," because <laughs> yeah. the, the only one who sounds as peppy in his intros as we are in the actual episodes. Um, but. Should just bang a can on the ground on the table. Just, just make some noise. That's what I thought I'd do. Uh, so, um, any other business, or should we have an adventure? Adventure. Have an adventure. Let's have an adventure. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Keenith and Unami, right? Keenith and Unami. The most important people that we definitely should have. Ah. Six adventures ago. <laughs> If only we'd spoke See, to they're them probably that. dead now. It's probably one of these <laughs> four, isn't it? They're laying on the age. floor. We've just killed them. So, yeah. So. Uh, you are standing in the uh, in the landing at the moment. The bodies of the thugs lying around you on the floor. Fulton Battlestone steps out um, onto the landing above you, looking down, tapping his axe on his hand, and says, "Well, mates, looks like you've been doing a lot of investigating." Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Look at you there with your stupid face, Fulton. <laughs> yeah, look at your stupid face, Fulton. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. He starts to shift and change. Um, he says until uh, his figure um, kind of grows. Um, the hair shrinks back onto his head and turns dark uh, until he reverts to the form of Barvius Moncolio. Uh, the head of Ilsurian shipping and haulage. You remember him as eight, the man who fired you from your job, uh, the man who you beat in the uh, test of strength, and the um, uh, the man who was leading the mob um, who arrived after the death of um, the priestess. He stands at some. Looks like we finally found something you were a good fit for, didn't we, Fulton? You little f- shit! Finish him off, lads. I've spared the children. He turns and starts to walk away across the landing. I uh, launch an I, I lose an arrow. It's going to go to initiative because he knows you're there. So Enough. here we go. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh. Ten. 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 Oh, come on. 
Oh, wow. Where my <laughs> over 20s at? Uh oh. No. Oh, good. Well, I've got one. So, you know. Okay. Oh, great. Holding up the contingent this is there. a good start, <laughs> guys. Uh, so, 20 to, uh, 20 to 15. 15. Go to 15 for M, Z. Um, I've got something in there as well. So, you know, keep in pace. Okay, 15 to 10. Yep. Oh, got a Velda in there. 13. Yeah. So still three of you, three of you to go. Uh, ten to five. I've got an eight. An eight. Wow. Uh, still six for Fulton. Uh, six for Fulton. Okay. It obviously incensed by what's going on, and uh, I'll carry your four. Four <laughs> for Caragor. That's. I'm really, really, really never seen a shapeshifter before. It's really. It's just thrown you, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, so uh, Borivius Moncolio goes first. He turns, walks away across the landing, opens a door, steps through it, and shuts the door behind him. Damn and it. goes out of sight. <laughs> a door. Oh, what a fiendish move. <laughs> Classic villain. Just <laughs> walks out. So, with yeah. the chair, which means uh, it is somebody else's turn. Two hooded figures appear over the sides of the balcony, both of them holding um, small bags in their hand. They throw them down at you. They throw one at Fulton. Uh, and one at M. Of course it's me. Of <laughs> course it's me. Bloody hell. Oh, of course Bloody it's me, off. Mary Poppins. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. That's a bag in my face. Uh, right, that is a... <laughs> right through this face. bloody bag. Oh. Yeah, go on. Take the piss out of yourself now. Take the bloody bags off. Uh, that is uh, Fulton. That is a... 617 against your touch armour class. Uh, yeah, so my touch armor class is 11. Okay, so, uh, and M, that is a... Ooh, not as good. Only a 6 against your touch armor class. 15. Cool. So, M, you jump aside as the bo- uh, as the uh, the bag hits the ground where you were standing. Fulton, it hits you full in the chest. Make a reflex save for me. <coughs> 17. 18. 18. Uh, it explodes into strands of sticky goo, but you manage to grab it just as it does and throw it away from you, and the uh, the web lands on, on the ground. You are not tangled. Neither of you are. Ha uh, ha! You have avoided the Tanglefoot bag assault uh, that they subjected you to. Uh, and M, it is now your go. All right, so um, the old crossbow, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. Not the new one, the old one. The old one, the old one you can trust. Uh, sorry, just for our American listeners, when you say the old, it doesn't mean it's old. It's just, it's just oh, the old, you know, you could say it about anything. Um, or car. for anyone that's not in England, actually. But these guys just decided to... We're really going heavily <laughs> on the... Uh, going heavily against Cole's accent today. It's, it's all right, it's don't worry about it. Yeah, I remember it. It's, it's fine. It's all going up here, mate. Up in... Uh, you know, all right. So the old noggin. Don't, don't put us in the old uh, grudge book. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Who is it, da- wow. Da- who is it that's throwing these bags? Uh, this is two hooded men who have appeared over the side of the uh, of the balcony. Uh, hooded men, an old adversary. The old hooded men. Old hooded men. That's <laughs> <laughs> a pub I used to drink at. You know, <laughs> yeah. the old hooded men. The old hooded men. Yeah, that's a lovely pint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an old nuclear I used to drink in. Nuclear sub. Uh, it's a bit of rhyming slang for you. Anyway, heavy crossbow. Let's uh, gloss over that. And um, yeah, shoot an Take arrow a shot. towards uh, the one on my left. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh no, 20. Oh, you roll 20. Roll again. Uh, eight. Eight, uh, so it's not a crit, but it is a hit. So roll the damage. Roll my damage. One, one d10. Has anyone got a d10? I can borrow. Oh, heavy crossbow. I know. This one. That's the one. The old heavy crossbow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Thank you, John. No worries. Cool. Uh, it, uh, it blasts through the banister uh, and hits him in the shoulder. Uh, the man staggers backwards, spitting out some blood. 
um, and grunting in pain uh, the, uh, the blood hits him a bit of blood yeah bit of blood bit of blood nice uh, good round M uh, Velda uh, for you I would like to uh, cast Ray of Frost another Ray of Frost <laughs> at the same person same person okay yep. ranged Frost. touch attack ranged touch attack there we go it's uh, it's not going to be good uh, what would that be adding my dex bonus uh, yes it would be yeah that's an eight. Eight uh, misses. He ducks behind the banister. The ray of frost just blasts the banister uh, and freezes some of it. Shit. It's a bit icy. A little bit slippery. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what was going on in Dan's mind in between those two <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> Letting the ambulance <laughs> go. Just thinking about slippery things. <laughs> Let's get slippery. Let's get slippery. Shania, it's your go. What would you like to do? Oh, shit, me. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, God, I haven't done anything for so long. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, I'll use my heavy crossbow, I think. Um, ranged business, isn't it? Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just use that. All right. Do a bit, do a bit of attack business. No worries. Uh, the injured one or the uninjured one? Uh, I will go for the uninjured one. Okay. Let's injure them both if we possibly can. Sure. Here we go. We're not going to do that, are we? <laughs> it's a five. Five. Um, the wait. Oh, hold on. Plus. Uh, it's, it's a seven. A seven. Oh, sorry, the bolt no. still uh, plows into the uh, into the uh, landing. Does not hit. Uh-oh. Um, uh oh. Wait, Philippe. The devil monkey. Philippe the devil monkey. Yeah. Now we're down on the... You're down on the ground. On the ground. They're up there. They are. Um, now, <clears throat> I was having a little look at something on the sheet. Mm-hmm. And um, I have naturally, as a drow, um, got uh, levitate. Just I can just use that, apparently. And also, I have uh, share spells. Can I levitate my monkey up to try and bite <laughs> one of these guys? Uh, isn't it cast as a spell that you have to make a foot, isn't it? Like yeah, you certainly action. can't cast a spell because you've already taken an action this turn, so you wouldn't be able to cast uh, anything. Good point, good point. Um, okay, well then, can the, uh, uh, how, how easily could, could the monkey, using his, uh, you know, sort of monkey-like skills, get up to where the guys are? You know, the swingy monkey kind of guy. Swingy monkey. Could, he wouldn't be able to make an attack this round, but he can get up there. Okay, all right. He's going to go up there, all bearing right. teeth and looking vicious. Philippe goes running off up the stairs towards the uh, towards the uninjured guy. Fulton, what would you like to do? I'm going to run up the stairs okay. and try and head to the door uh, okay. that the guy went in. Mm. I know they're probably there in my way, aren't they? Uh, yeah, the... Uh the injured guy is the, is the closest one to you. He's um, yeah, he's you move through his squ- threatened square to get to the door. So cool. if you try and open the door, he'll get an attack of off against you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. You make it to the door, but you uh, you are not able to open it this round. That's cool. all you can do with your turn. Mm-hmm. Caragor, Caragor, it is your go. I would like to Caragor would like to um, head up the stairs, mm-hmm. but as like a, not a full run, like just his normal move action. Yep. Um, and uh, steady target on the nearest th- hooded thug. Take a shot with a longbow. Okay, go for it. Uh, twang. It's a nine. Nine, no joy. <laughs> You're gonna say something, fire an arrow into the wall. Shit. The dice are against us, guys. Uh, which means it is round two, and it is their go. Shit. So one of them, one of them moves around, um, moves up next to Fulton. Uh, the other one runs around to flank Fulton. Um, so they're both uh, on either side of Fulton. The one at the front makes an attack with his short sword, and that is a so fourteen. Nope. Okay, and then the one behind you makes an attack. Ooh. Natural 20. Uh, let's <laughs> roll to see it. Uh, rolling to confirm. Uh, and it's a one. Uh, <laughs> uh, he <laughs> take it away. But it is, it is a hit, and it, he does get sneak attack damage because he is flanking you. Cool. So uh, he does something at least. Um, so... Oh! oh. oh. Okay. What have you got? 
you'll so, find out when okay. you tell me how many are. Uh, so you take... <laughs> You take 13 points of damage as he runs in and stabs you in the back. Cool, I'm on minus one. Oh! oh that means you're on right. the right? down. Yeah. Uh, you trouble. run up, put your hand to the, uh, the door, and the two of them just fall on you. You defend against one of them, but the other one runs up and just jams the blade um, in between the gaps in your armor and your back. Those you on the ground, particularly uh, Karagor, your closest, you see Fulton just get slammed into the door with the blade and then just fall to the floor. Stabbed in the back. M, it's your go. <sighs> Shouldn't have come out of that raid, should I? Should have just stayed in it. Oh, mind you, it would have finished by now anyway, wouldn't it? So, let's get raging. Yeah. yeah. Rage. Go into a rage. Yeah. And um, whilst doing a rage, can I run and then hit, or can I only take a move action? Or, uh, you uh, need to move in a straight line. And, oh, no, you need an unobstructed path, which you've got. Yeah, so you can charge. Um, you can make a charge against one of them if you want. So I can charge, uh, and can I put my bow away and take my sword out? Is that uh, able to do that while I'm moving? You were using the bow before, weren't you? Oh, no, yeah, you can't course, switch yeah. weapons because you haven't got quick draw. Okay, uh, so, so I can... charge and switch weapons. But I can still fire my crossbow as I'm running. Yeah. Actually, what's your base attack bonus? Your base my, attack bonus is one, isn't it? My base attack bonus... Because it is, you can draw a weapon as part of a charge. It is a one, yes, you're one, right, yeah, correct. So yeah, you can you drop the bow, you charge up, and as you're going, you draw the sword, Sick. and you can make an attack. Here's the go, just stabbed for them. That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be it. like, FALTON! In a rage there, with my swords. Let's have a look. It's going to be... Uh, we're not using the dice tray anymore, guys. You know, we've got the dice tray, it's nice. <laughs> I like the dice tray. Yeah, I thought we were doing You're right, and we've been rolling really badly. We're we going crazy. We're the dice tray. <laughs> well, so it's it's now, guys. We're uh, rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> rolling dice wherever we feel like it. On the floor, on the ceiling, anywhere. We're wild. It's, an, it's a nine, by the way. It's a nine, nine don't hit. Nah. Probably the dice tray, you animal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you come flying in, uh, screaming, but unfortunately blinded by your rage. Yeah. Uh, you take a swing, and the guy manages to just uh, throw an elbow out and uh, fend you off before you can land at your deadly strike, which takes us to Velda. How far away are they? Are they? Uh, from you, they are about um, they're about fifteen feet up. Um, and then probably 30 feet, uh, 25 feet across. You're kind of down on the ground there, up the top of the stairs. Are they so, within 30 feet of you? Uh, they can be. If you move up onto the stairs, they will be in 30, within 30 feet of you. Right. And also, how? What if I wanted to draw my a weapon, a mm-hmm. hand axe that I have, yep. what action is that? That is a move action for you. Bums. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have base stat bonus of zero, which means you can't draw a weapon as part of a move action. You right. have to do it as a separate action. Okay, then. Yeah, I, I am going to uh, draw my hand axe mm-hmm. and then run up the stairs within 30 feet of them. Okay. <clears throat> can, I, can I cast? Uh, nope. Unfortunately, the uh, the move then takes up your... You can, you can you get a move action and a standard action. So if you use one of the you move action to draw your weapon, you then have to use your standard action to do your move. Can I say something? Yeah, of course you can. Fulton! Shit! (laughs) (laughs) Helpful? Shania. Yeah, uh, Shania will obviously run to Fulton's aid. Okay. Um, You can make a full... So a double move will get you there, but you won't be able to do anything this round. Okay. Well, i I got to get there. Okay. The monkey, however, Mm -hmm. is already there. He is already there. (laughs) Boom! (laughs) Sorted that one out. Philippe makes an attack on uh, whichever one is uh, like close it like most in the way okay yep that's fine that's whatever that is. just stabbed him okay all right so <clears throat> in the tray boys oh crap <laughs> what i use the tray i really thought well. the tray would be vindicated <laughs> i'd be like really, this is it really now i really thought i was gonna but no, no. i mean it's seven Seven. No, wait, no, nine. Nine? No. Oh, well, yeah, nine. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> nine. Nine. Nine also misses. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm glad Fine. you told me. Uh, no, it was nine. Gonna though, die. It was nine. Uh, no, it's not a hit. Um, Philippe flails away ineffectively um, at the thug. Um, so, uh, Fulton, what I need you to do now is to make a... Uh, you need to make a stabilised roll. Mm-hmm. So you're going to roll a, um, a... You're going to roll a d20. You can add your constitution modifier. 
The DC is 10 plus the negative uh, below you are, so a DC 11. Wait, 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 before you do that, before you do that, just to be absolutely clear on this, so the constitution modifier that Ross is about to add is plus two. Yep. Um, his constitution score is 15, so uh, if he gets to minus 15 hit points, he mm -hmm. dies, no coming back, that's it, over, gone. He's currently on minus one hit point. Yeah, so you got a little while. Yeah, uh, so what did you say it was plus two, yeah? Uh, plus whatever your con modifier is, So yeah. five. Five, a uh, five total. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You continue to bleed. <laughs> yeah. So you're now on. You take another one point of damage. Do I bleed? Two. Thirteen more rounds of this, and Ross is out of the campaign. Caragor, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> let's see if you can do anything about it from the stairs. Oh, oh, Falson, bloody hell! Should I heal him? I'm going to clear some space. <laughs> and, I sh <laughs> and I sheathe my cutlass and I fling myself at both of them. Okay, you hurl yourself into the uh, into the middle of the two of them, making an attack. Oh, <laughs> shit, I missed the dice trail, that's excited. <laughs> oh. Wait, what was it, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a roll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! 19. Oh, that's a crit. I've got to roll Critical. that again because of my cutlass. Critical threat. Ooh. Was this against the injured guy or the uninjured guy? I can't uh, remember which I, one you had to do. I would have to because I was throwing myself and would have to take the one that's closest. The one that's closest? No problem. Okay, that's the uninjured man. Well, he's the one that's so dangerous right now. Oh. It, is, it, is, oh. it is a nine. Nine. So it's not going to be a critical hit, right. but it will be a hit. Still a hit. So. Still a hit. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So it lats. You son of a bitch, six hit points with a cut. Nice, very nicely done. So he's still alive. You run up and uh, you run up and slash the cutlass across his side. Um, and he quickly realizes that the, you're appearing from all sides on him. And he's starting to feel a little nervous. However, it is their go, and uh, he turns around. He turns to face you. Uh, unfortunately, because now you're all up there, or unfortunately for them, they're not able to flank you, Caragor. Um, but mm -hmm. they do both turn, kind of look around. One of them turns to Shania, seeing him eyeing Fulton. The other one goes for you, Caragor. So one against Caragor. Come on. Uh, that's a 60... Uh, yeah, it's a fifth... Uh, oh, no, it's more than that. Oh, detention. Uh, that's a 17. Yeah, that hits. Hits, hits you uh, <clears throat> four. Oh, four. Oh, my God. Eight points of damage. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> right. God, fucking hell, these lads. Jesus. On a short sword? Yeah. Roll a six. <laughs> he rolled a six. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he, uh, he, as you come leaping in, the one that you didn't, you slash one of them, his mate then stabs you um, at the side. I'm clearing space! I'm clearing space! <laughs> uh, and Shania, uh, against you, natural one. It's gonna roll again. Thank see. God for that. Fumble. Is it a fumble? Yes! Yay! Fumble. The guy who just uh, guy who just hit Fulton. Decapitate. 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 Let's see if it's gonna be. He has fumbled uh, with a uh, a melee weapon stuck. Your weapon is stuck in a nearby surface. <laughs> D20 strength check to free it. So he lunges at Shania. Shania, you step aside, and he just slams the sword into the wooden wall behind you uh, and just Amazing. stands there trying to wrench it free. So oh. he's... Somebody's, for you. Somebody's <laughs> going to get his arm chopped off next turn, isn't he? Dan, just, just hold up your fumble card and look sad. Look yeah. quite chipper, actually. Live Insta. Well, it's hard not to. It's hard. I'm feeling good right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're all having a good time right now. So, you so. are. M-Z! All right, so... Um, <clears throat> After that ridiculous move there, I'm staying in a rage though. Yeah. I'm going to turn myself around, uh, and I believe there's the injured guy just right behind there me. Is that two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the other guy. Yeah, the originally injured guy. They're both injured now. They're both yeah. injured now. There's yeah, the yeah, guy yeah, who right. still has a sword in his hand. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, to hit him with yep. my swords. I'm gonna slash him. Hopefully. Uh, all right. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. That. Hits. Yeah, all right. With... Nice. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. Drops him to the ground. That's what uh, I'm talking you about. swing back around. Having missed one strike, you swing back around and just stab the sword into the belly of the uh, the other guy uh, who drops to the floor, gurgling and coughing uh, and bleeding next to Fulton. Velda. Right. I'd like to use something that I haven't used before. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
So this is something that I have a, uh, a, a spell or an ability, as it were, and uh, I would like to uh, hurl my axe. Okay, you're going to throw an axe. Yes, using okay. my skill Hand of the Apprentice. Right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, now I can use this. All so right. I'm going to hurl my axe and it's going to, uh, it's going to fly at uh, the enemy, hopefully hit them and then return to my hand. Nice. Yes. And I can use my intelligence modifier instead of my dexterity to ah, do nice. this. That is um, very nice. Cool. Just cool. out of character. That is okay, cool. so uh, yeah. so my, my, my character is showing is a minus five attack bonus. Is that because I haven't got proficiency in axes? Yes, yeah, you're not proficient in axes. I'm not proficient in axes, that's why I haven't used it. Good. Okay. That's fine. I'll still go with it because fuck it. I'm, I've stacked yeah. it up now. Okay. Uh, that's what I haven't used before. So I'm going to use this ability to uh, hurl my axe. So I'm going to hurl my axe at the injured. Oh, they're both injured now, aren't they? No, there's a, one, one, one's dead. dead. There's only one. Oh, one's left. dead. There's only one left. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. hurl my axe at it. So okay. here we go. Uh, uh, Eleven. Um, that plus my intelligence modifier is fifteen. Minus five, so that's ten. Minus five is dead, and then minus one <laughs> four for throwing into com- into melee combat. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Does it hit one There's of kind of an awkward pause as an axe just kind of flies up over the banister <laughs> and just kind of clangs onto the uh, onto the floor next to you all. All of you, including the uh, thug, kind of just stop and look at it in confusion for a moment, uh, and then the axe takes off and flies back over the back. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you shits! <laughs> very good. Oh, very good. Like, oh, it lands boy. handle first and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Velda, Velda, did you mean to do that or was that an accident? Oh! oh. Uh, <laughs> stop asking me questions. <laughs> ah, Shania. So, um, obviously, Shania's been attacked barely even notices that happen um, is too busy trying to heal Fulton okay. places his hands upon him and uses cure light wounds okay nice. you try and cast a spell that would normally provoke from the guy but he has no weapon in his hand so he can't make an attack of opportunity against you so uh, go ahead so and what cast. I'm doing this I go in his face <laughs> um, alright he actually did that uh, in my face <laughs> so, uh, I did, yeah. um, cure light wounds cure light wounds 1d8 plus your level in hit points are oh, healed bet. to Fulton okay, roll we well go. and it is <sighs> 2 plus my level which is 1 so yeah, three, 3 hit points hit back hit Fulton points. how you doing back up to 1 hit points he's back yeah, away yeah, look at that yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Fulton. Fulton's alive oh. Fulton oh. Fulton uh, are you feeling better, yeah? Why am I lying on the floor? You've attacked his fair nasty. Oh, that bastard. I'm going to get him when I get up. Uh, yes, you might be well. I'll do this now. <laughs> Fulton, it is your go. <sighs> right. He staggers his way up and yep. runs towards the guy. Uh, you didn't, he's still standing right next to you. <laughs> oh, However, I'm just going to attack him. Yeah, he can't attack a Vop you for standing up because he's still <laughs> got his sword stuck at all. You stand back up, accident. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh. Just like break his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going well, to. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do if if I okay. succeed in hitting him. 21. 21 hits. Yeah. All right. 13 hit points. 13 Jeez. hit points of damage. Kills the man. I'm going to take the great axe. Yeah. And I'm going to swing it on low and just get him right in his gingangoolies. <laughs> Sweet and low. Uh, <laughs> chop his balls <laughs> off. Yes. I would have chopped his arm off, but nah, I'll go for the gingangoolies. The man is um, the man is just struggling on his sword, and then in the reflection of it, just sees Fulton stand up uh, and turns back around and looking at Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> and then the axe hits him between the legs. Uh, blood sprays over all of you, and the man dies on the end of your axe as you fall oh, to the floor. Fulton, uh, Fulton! I come I, out of a rage. I fall yeah. on my axe a little bit because yeah. I'm still like pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, Carrigan oh. also also winces and holds a hand to his side where he's bleeding. Oh fuck! We, out of combat. we, we took a. Uh, you are currently out of combat. We so took a burn. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, you, you look terrible. Ah uh, yeah, Shania. I take some more. of the blood off my no, face and wipe it on Velda. <laughs> what? The? There's a reason for this. There's a reason for this. Uh, and then I start running down to go and fetch my crossbow. Okay, cool. I'm not you losing that. Grab your crossbow. And then I come running back up there. Fuck was with him. No, why no, did he wipe it on my face? No, he's doing a thing. You see. No, listen, Later listen, on. listen. Later on, if we go through that door and that shapeshifter 
changes shape then hopefully it won't be able to replicate blood and now we're all covered ah. in blood we know who the real person is that's a good idea MZ oh, well, 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 yeah, yeah. you screw it off oh god <laughs> oh, fuck it's great clever yeah. oh, yeah. oh. Jesus. how are you how both you feeling both Scottish uh, <laughs> Sh- uh, Sh- I, think, I, I think I think Shania can only do one spell a day that's been prepared at this oh, level oh for fuck's sake I think I'm, re- oh, I'm no. really sorry uh, oh god um, Bolton no. through the robes figures like pockets to see if they've got anything you go through their pockets alright mm. yeah you start uh, searching um uh, you start searching through them. Uh, make perception checks. Everyone. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. By the way, I um, M has a nineteen uh, for Fulton. Sorry. All right. No, no, no. Do do that first. Okay. Twenty-one for Caragor. Twenty-one for Caragor. Uh, nineteen for Shania. For Shania. I'll leave you guys to it. Okay. Cool. Twenty-three, 23 for M. 23 for By the M, way, yeah. I do have a cure light wounds potion. I didn't mention that earlier okay. on when Michael was hurt the day before so I might get a bit of shit but yeah, well no because uh, no, we need that right really now no. Now, yeah. but I, I was uh, yeah I was reluctant to give it to Michael because it's an NPC Wait, Mike, I, keep, really? I keep getting injured <laughs> <laughs> so well M keeps getting injured anyway carry on Dan alright so uh, searching through the bodies of the two men at the top at least before you move downstairs you find uh, two suits of leather armour on them you find uh, each of them has got five daggers and each of them has got a short sword so we can go through that later but also as you're searching through them you hear the sound of a window being opened from the other side of the door that Fulton was about to open uh, you hear the sound of a window being opened and something moving somebody moving around in there I run downstairs out the building out the building okay Hey, quick, guys, follow me. He's probably trying to escape. Fulton, wait. Do, do, Fulton, don't you want to drink that health potion? What? Don't you want to drink the health potion that M's got? Who's? Oh. M's, M's, I'll, ru- I'll run back up the stairs. Okay, what? you run back up the stairs. I, I open the door. Okay, yeah. Velda, you <laughs> open the door. Um, you open the door. Velda Canbright is halfway out of the window, um, holding on a, on a rope. He immediately sees you with the blood splattered over your face and with well, shit, this, is, this isn't grasp. going to work. Um, you cast... <laughs> Sorry to talk over your excellent impression of Velda Kemp right there. That was very, uh, good, yeah. very good. You cast uh, Shocking Grasp and run towards him. Make a touch attack. Okay, come on. I'll let you come have on, the surprise because he's come on a rope. Oh, oh. You swing and you miss. This is two. Character. Uh, so what should I add to it? Uh, it's, uh, you would add uh, your base attack bonus and your strength modifier. No. Which I think goes out the door. Um, take a shot. So we are back into it's initiative rounds now. That was an, ish, uh, an immediate reaction from Velda, which drops us back uh, into them. The uh, first person to act is Other Velda. He uh, shimmies down the rope, and you see him drop down, and then you hear him land on the floor uh, at the bottom. He is going to take some damage for that, though, because he's falling. Uh, let's see if he can roll oh. through it. Nope. He takes some. D- oh, please don't let him die just from this. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Yes. Let him so die. Awesome. Yeah. Worst ending. Uh, yeah, it just takes just takes two points of damage. Just the two. Okay. He lets go of the rope and slides down to the ground. Next person to act. Uh, they're dead. And cross them off. M. <laughs> All right, so um, <clears throat> you're all kind of clustered at the uh, at the top of the stairs, just in the op- entrance to this door. You've seen Velda has opened the door, run at someone, taking a sw- uh, swing with his hand, but the guy's dropped before he could grab him. All right, uh, can I take out a potion, throw it to Fulton, and then run to the window? Yes, you can. Uh, yep, you uh, you toss the potion aside to Fulton. He's right next to you, so that's not uh, you don't need a roll or anything for that. Yep, uh, you run to the window. Okay, run to the window. Uh, you can see, you can see Velda picking himself up off the ground. Um, okay. Velda is also stood next to you in the room. Uh, however, the Velda in the room with you has blood all over his face. The other one on the ground does not. Does not, yeah. To and, the window. Uh, th- th- there's a. There's I think a rope he's hanging. just climbed down. There's a rope he's climbed down. Yeah, it looks like he, in order to get down quicker, just let go of it and just fell to the, fell sort of twenty feet to the ground. Sure. Uh, yeah. Or he went halfway down and then dropped the last ten feet. Uh, uh, but yeah, there is a rope that goes all the way down to the ground. And in this in this section, can I take out? Uh, oh, I actually grab. I've got my you've heavy got crossbow. In your, my, you've got crossbow in your hand. In Unfortunately, case, as a heavy crossbow, it is not, it requires reloading before you uh, can fire it. So okay. it's a full round action to reload it. Okay. So uh, I'm afraid you can't fire it right now. 
Okay. Could I start climbing down the rope? Uh, yes, you can do that. Yeah, you start uh, make a climb check to quickly climb down. Oh dear. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay, you manage to shimmy awkwardly down the rope. You get about halfway down it. Yeah. Um, in the time that you get the movement that you have left, um, Vilda, it's your actual go now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to run forward to the window. You're already at the window. I'm already at the window. Very good, very good. Uh, now, I have a spell here again. Uh-huh. Uh, I have an ability, <laughs> rather. And it is Featherfall. Okay. Now, I just want to get this right. Yep. Uh, this Can I cast this on myself? Yes, you can. Yes, and it means I fall quite slowly. It does, yes. Uh, is, say, casting a spell in some sort of stressful situation, like plummeting from a window, mm-hmm. uh, is, does that require any sort of role? Uh, it would normally require concentration, but it doesn't for Featherfall, I don't believe. I think, because it's designed to be cast while you're falling. So while you're falling. I think you can cast it. Although you're at the top, so you could just cast it and then fall out the window, uh, and that would still work. Uh, yes, well, in that case, I'd like to uh, say, come on, everyone, and jump from the window and cast okay. Featherfall on myself. Cool. Um, just as a side note, like, Featherfall, you know, uh, everyone in Dungeons & Dragons, like, there's some spells you really want in real life. Featherfall is one of the most, the, 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 the spell that I would most like to try, like, in real life. It'd just be so fucking cool just to be just dropping off things and be like, oh, slow, sexy fall. Yeah. Leaves on the wind. Pull a few pads. Falling like a feather. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Literally, yeah. Down the way down. You know, Sweet. shapes. Um, uh, Velda, you uh, you cast the spell on yourself, step off the window, step out of the window, and uh, fall gracefully through the air like Mary Poppins. Um, <laughs> oh, Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> drifting yeah. down uh, to the uh, to the ground uh, and landing with a light touch uh, on the uh, on the grass <laughs> next to the. Uh, I'd like to as well. Um, being a sylph, I have a very minor control over the wind, so yeah. I'd like to really billow out my cloak. You do, as I'm, you as billow. I'm falling down, proper <laughs> Doctor Strange style, yeah. like. Whoo- with robes flailing in the air, your your legs sort of kicking Tiling. around between them. <laughs> I was going to let it go. Oh. I, was gonna, I couldn't let it go. Let it go. Oh, what, what are robes doing? They're flailing. They're flailing. Fly, They're flailing, flailing without wings. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still will go. The DM could just make you plummet to the ground. He could. Yeah, he could, yeah, yeah. He could. Um, <laughs> the uh, you land safely uh, on the ground next to um, next to other Velda, uh, who looks at you uh, aghast at the fact that you've uh, you've managed this. Yeah. Thing. Because I'm a real wizard, bitch. Uh, Shania. Shania is very, very happy about this. <laughs> she runs to the window and yeah. launches herself out of it, going, Yes! This is what I've always wanted! Oh, Velda, we are as fun! Um, and falls. And, and falls, but also has feather, fl- uh, no. feather form. No. What? Fe- uh, Featherfall only affects the person it is cast on. No, no, no. I have Featherfall. Oh, you have Featherfall as yeah. well? Okay. Yes! No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I do have Featherfall. Oh, but I think I'm going to dive out the window first and go quite fast, go like, way, and then just at the end go, vroom, vroom, like that. You uh, kind of thought, and it, uh, just all your robes just go, <laughs> kind of expand like a parachute for the last 10 I, feet. I, I tell you what, I think it's time for a high five! <laughs> Yay! No high fives. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, Dan. <laughs> you uh, you drift down and then on the mm. other side uh, of other Velda. Yeah, with like, you know, scythe, uh, scythe at the ready. What a sight! Just falling yeah, from right. the window, <laughs> this kind of death-like creature with a scythe, with all these bandages billowing in the wind. It's me fumbling down the rope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just okay, uh, Fulton. Uh, he's gonna drink. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Karaga, do you want this? Karaga really thinks about it for a minute. Well, not a minute, but you know. <laughs> Uh, no, no, Ten mate. Minutes. No, you go on. You drink it. Are you sure? Yeah, mate. Go on. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drink that. You can obviously check the other but Well, it's, I'm not gonna tell you how to play your game. Mate. What? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna drink that. Okay, you drink the uh, drink the healing potion, and you get uh, six points. Back. Nice. nice. So Fulton uh, is starting to feel a lot more like. That's my stand action and my stand. move action. I'm gonna run down and out of the building. Okay, uh, with 20 feet, that basically just get you can get sort of halfway down the stairs. Yeah, that's about fine. all you can do. But. I, I honestly thought for a moment you were just going to jump out the window as well. <laughs> Nay! Really bad, no? Nay! Taking 10 hit points of damage. <laughs> Six points of damage <laughs> yeah. immediately. Uh, Caragor. I'd like to go to the ledge where these boys jumped off, okay. stop there, drop to my knee, mm-hmm. uh, knock an arrow to my bow, yep. and cock my head at... Uh, 
that Moncolio. Moncolio! Game's up, mate! You either die here or you get under arrest. What's it gonna be? Before he gets a chance to answer, I loose an arrow at his legs. Nice! <laughs> yeah, you take a shot. <laughs> Come on, did you do a good roll? I am. Dan, you're right, and you know, I got one then. Um, so that is a, it's a 19 total. 19 total. I'll tell you, that is a hit. Twang! It's a hit! Uh, I've got a, a, so my longbow, uh, which is just, because I've changed that since it's a different D, uh, D, D8 uh, damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, plus one, because it's the target. It's a five total for twang. Uh, a five total. Uh, okay, five damage. Bang. The arrow hits uh, him in the shoulder and he staggers forward. Like, ah, you twat! You have the right to remain a prick! <laughs> um, this is fun. Uh, <laughs> is it fun being Belder? <laughs> you have the right to remain a prick. Um, <laughs> you sort of feel like that might have been aimed at Velda, but I don't know. He reaches under his robes, um, the Velda illusion falls, uh, and he re reverts back to Borvius uh, Moncolio, a sort of older gentleman with dark hair, uh, it's kind of handsome-ish features, trimmed beard. Uh, he draws forth from uh, his sheaths a, a long sword and a dagger. Uh, however, doing that provokes from Shania, uh, who is standing right next to him because you've got reach with the, or you have reach with the scythe mm -hmm. so yeah you can you can hit him from there Velda can't quite reach or Velda doesn't okay. have a melee weapon equipped at the moment well, I, I do actually but I've got my little hand you've got your hand axe for that so you're, unfortunately you're not no, right next to him otherwise really Karagor sure. wouldn't have hit so you okay. Shania can swing from a bit further so, away here we go there's a swing 11 11 does not hit uh and with that, um, with his weapons drawn, he takes a five-foot step to bring him up to Shania, uh, and then takes a swing uh, with the sword. Uh, that is... That's going to be a 17. Yeah, that's going to hit me. Okay, he stabs you with the sword, dealing... Uh-oh. Uh, no, rolls a one. So he only deals three points of damage. Uh, as he jams you with the sword. Uh, okay. However, he's now up close in melee with you with uh, two weapons drawn. M, you're next. Halfway down your rope. Uh, keep sh uh, how far can I get down the rope? You, the you, with your move action, that? you can get to the bottom of the you get to the bottom, uh, and you'll be right next to him. Oh, and I'll be right next to your man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do that and. Uh, you know, load an arrow into the crossbow. Okay, uh, it's a full round action to reload the crossbow because it's heavy, so you can't do oh, it while moving. Yeah, yeah, so, sure. uh, unfortunately, while you're on the, uh, you won't be able to do that while you're on the rope. Okay, in that case, uh, can I get down to the bottom of the rope? And switch the old weapons. Yeah, you can get down. You uh, you get down to the. Um, <laughs> uh, the only way you could do it and still be able to make an attack would be if you let go of the rope. You can make an acrobatic check to yeah. try not to take the damage. And then if you do that, mm. then um, if you succeed in that, then you can make an attack. If you fail, <laughs> you'll uh, you'll fall over. Is Dan trying to lure me into a trap here? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, I'm, gonna gonna, I'm just laying out your options. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to drop. Right. I'm going to drop. I'm going to do it. Acrobatics check. Here we go. <gasps> oh, my God. It is oh, yes. 16. 16. You, uh, you let go of the crossbow, let go of the rope, and just fall to the ground, landing lightly on your feet next to him, sword <laughs> flashing from your belt as you land. Amazing. Cool. And then swing that sword okay. uh, towards him. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Here we go. <gasps> yeah, it's gonna hit. Don't go rolling in the uh, uh, rolling in the tray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rolling right. in the tray. Uh, is uh, twenty. Twenty hits. Twenty hits. Rolling yeah. damage. One da plus. There you go. I'll do that then. Uh, seven. Seven points of damage. Very nice. That was beautiful. You slash him. Over, you land on that and just slash him across the back. He staggers forward. Um, you got him a cut him a, a big old slice into his shoulder uh, with your nine ring broadsword. Uh, Velda, I am going plan? to look at him right in the eye and be like, "Ha, your true colours, eh?" You remember, you still have shocking grasp uh, on your hand. Oh, do I? You, yeah, with shocking grasp, it stays it stays charged on your hand for the, whatever the duration of the spell is until you either choose to oh. end it or until you hit. So you I can see. keep trying to make touch attack against him to uh, uh, unleash it. But doesn't it doesn't it end when you cast another spell? 
Oh, it might do, but I'm not. Well, the thing is, like, my feather fall is a spell like ability. Ah, okay. That would be different then. So, uh, I is think it, I, case, I, I didn't actually it's cast a, a, it's a spell. Sylph ability, it's, it's, isn't it? It's a Sylph it? thing. I uh, a Sylph. In the case of that, then yeah. I think that's fine. Okay. We'll double check it off air, but yeah, I think oh, that's you. probably fine. Thank you, lovely DM. Silence, Caragor. I just remember as my old witch character, the one I used the hex, which is a spell like ability that also ended any current spells I had going at the time. But okay, fine. <coughs> Good. Uh, right, so I'm going to shocking grasp the motherfucker. I'm going to try and put my hand on him. It's going to fail anyway, so don't worry. It's, uh, no, it's not. Uh, that would be a... Uh, is it plus my base attack bonus plus my... Plus your uh, strength one. Is it not intent? Strength. Strength, yep, yeah, because it's a melee attack. Oh. Oh, no, it's failed. Okay. So, so, <laughs> yeah, swing again, <laughs> and uh, it's a swing and another miss, I'm afraid. Uh, you don't manage to hit him with your electrical hand. Why is it dex? Because uh, it's a melee attack. Mm. Um, if you had weapon finesse, it's maybe. odd. Shania. Up uh, close and personal with this guy. Mm hmm. So, you think you can stab me, eh? If I'll take some of this! I do another swing. All right, so go for it. It's not <laughs> nothing really that different. Just uh, just another swing of the scythe, and uh, this time I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, looking a little bit more fruity. Fourteen. A fourteen does not hit. Uh, you swing your scythe, but he blocks it with the two uh, with the dagger and sword, uh, and flings the blow aside. Fulton, you're back in the house on the stairs. I'm, I'm, I'm carrying move. on doing okay. uh, Holy Grail sort of running okay. towards you the keep castle. Running. That <laughs> gets you <laughs> out <laughs> the uh, <laughs> with your tiny legs, gets you out the front door, round past the bush, and almost uh, around the side of the house where they're having the fight, and then you have to run the length of the house to get back to them. Uh, get in there. Keep on running, tiny legs. Uh, Caragol. <laughs> Caragor just stays where he is on his uh, on one knee, just knocking uh, arrows and loosening them at All right. uh, Moncolia. Go Moncolia, ahead. give it up! Game's up, mate! I'm gonna fucking fill you full of wood, you dick! <laughs> uh, eh. Oh, hey. 16. 16. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yay! 20! Uh, a 20 hits, yeah. even through melee. Just, um, why won't you just fucking die? Or be under arrest? What are the two? Uh, uh, five. Five. Another five points of damage. He's looking pretty How's beat up. How's he now. doing over there? Yeah. yeah he's uh, he's looking a bit beat up now. He's been hit a few times ago. Now I've got two arrows sticking out of him. Uh, he's been uh, hit twice um, by some of the attacks. Also, can I just point out the monkey's been climbing down the rope, right? Okay, the monkey and is climbing down and the rope. has joined me. Okay, in so the, the fight. monkey from next round, the monkey will be with you. Yeah, okay, is that all right? Sorry, yeah. I meant to mention that. Uh, I hope the monkey's climbing. That's the really? first round the, the rope's been clear from M, so yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so the monkey is climbing down, uh, which means it is his go. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. cool. All right, okay. No, no it's not the monkey's no. go. Oh, that's oh, right. It's Moncolia's go. Oh, um, no, Moncolia. That's yeah. why I got mixed up. Monkey, Moncolia. Monkey, you see my Moncolio. confusion. It's an easy confusion. He tries to stab you twice. <laughs> uh, he, has, uh, he has two weapons. He makes a full attack action oh, against shit. Shania. Shit. Sword oh, attack. This might be bad. Attack. Oh, it's only a six. Yeah, that's not going to hit me. Dagger, a t uh, short sword attack rather. This offhand weapon. That's gonna hit. That me. is probably gonna hit you. That's a seventeen. Yeah, that's uh, definitely gonna so hit that me. That hits you, mm -hmm. uh, but it's the one that does less damage of the two. Uh, unless you roll like that, uh, you take five points of damage from the short sword. You block one uh, with the scythe, but he brings the other one in and stabs it into uh, the side of you. Oh, this is very painful. How are you doing on hit points? Um, well, I have two left. Shania is looking pretty ropey, leaning on the side as he just keeps unloading into her with stabs. Volda can't seem to get a swing in. Uh, M's managed to get a hit, and M, it's your go again. My go again. All right, so let's swing for him again. All right, here we go. Ah, not as good this time. Six. Six. No Doesn't good. Hit. Yeah. Doesn't mm. hit. Uh, he swings, but he Sheep. brings his own blade back and blocks it. Uh, you can tell he's quite well trained at fighting with two weapons. He's managed to keep a lot of you at bay. Velda. Okay, I'm gonna say, we need him alive! And then try and touch him with a shocking grasp. Oh, that'll do it. I think, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. That will be 19. Yep, that hits. Yes! Yes! Uh, good, I'm very pleased about that. Uh, it says 1d6 plus one. Even with a minus five? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's that's because I'm not proficient. What? This is axe. Yeah, that's and my shitty axe. Uh, uh, right, so it's one d six plus one. 
Oh, five. Five points of, of damage. Electricity damage. <laughs> cool. You punch him in the side and unleash electricity through him as he shakes and shudders. Yeah, take it, turd. Uh, he is still <laughs> standing. Shania, Rain, what you going to do? Bell. Not damage. All right. So... <clears throat> I switch the uh, the scythe round uh-huh. using the butt of the scythe, going for non-lethal damage, okay. and um, and try and knock him out by hitting him in the side of the head. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. <clears throat> Whoops. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Go. Oh, that's that's good. Uh, Take penalties, but I'll add it well, to his AC. Just okay, all right. Okay, so 17. 17 does not hit. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. trying to attack, um, it's cumbersome trying to attack with the butt of the side. You're not used to it. Okay. Would have hit him with the blade, All right. but with the butt, okay. it doesn't well, get Well, Philippe damage. the Devil Monkey doesn't really understand about non-killing and just goes for a full-out attack. Go for it. Roll an attack with that Philippe. monkey. Um, monkey attack. Monkey! Oh, that is... Monkey Holio. <laughs> don't think it's going to be enough. It's 13. 13, no good. Yeah, no. He knocks right. away, he fends off the monkey. He's literally in the middle of all of you, just fighting off blades uh, all sides. It, it, Fulton, you round the corner and start running. <laughs> Next round, you will be within oh. charging <laughs> range. <laughs> you know, I'm willing to get some kind of a bonus because we're all fighting him. Is that... He hopefully okay. will. You're, uh, you're just... Your tiny legs just go... <laughs> Poor Fulton. <laughs> Um, You'd have been better off coming down through the window, wouldn't you, really? Yeah. <laughs> Caragor. Um, Caragor would like to intimidate him into standing down. All right, go ahead and make an intimidation check. Uh, what are you going to say? Moncolio, you're literally about to die. You've got no chance. You either come with us peacefully now, or you die where you stand in puddles of your own blood okay. and piss, because I'm going to piss on you after you die. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think everyone listening at home can probably tell what kind of rolls happen by eight. slightly eight. derisive noises. Eight does not work. He, not does, he is not intimidated by this. Right, fuck it, kill him, lads, kill him to death. <laughs> <laughs> he had his chance. He spits blood. I might die, but I'm taking you with me. That's his go again. So uh, he is going to, with his first attack, he's going to take a swing at Velda. That's another one, is it? No, it's a seven. It's a seven. Uh, Velda's got a low AC, so it's an 11. It's not enough. Oh, Velda, you jump oh. back just in time away from the blade. Uh, and then he swings the uh, short sword at Shania. Fuck. Oh, shit. That is a critical threat. Oh. God damn it. Oh. We can all see it. It's not a critical hit. Okay. Just a regular hit. Doing Even regular so. damage. I mean, uh, if it's anything more than a one, I'm in real trouble. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's more than one. Uh, Shania, you take seven points of damage. Fuck me. Shit. Oh no, this it's only it. a plus one, so you take six points of damage. Oh, right. so that's okay, not so, so bad. Just minus four then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there's always a silver lining, isn't there, everyone? What's your constitution uh, score, uh, Drum? Uh, my constitution is twelve. Okay. Mm. Caragor, you see with your trained eye the feint um, before Shania does. She's not obviously quite so combat trained, but before you can call out uh, as he turns and swings at um, at Velda, Shania reaches out instinctively for Velda, and as he, does, he, he spins the short sword around and just stabs it into her ch- into her stomach, pulls it out, and you see um, Shania fall to the ground, blood pouring through the ropes. Caragor, from this moment, mate, swears to himself, silent in his head, that he's never going to offer Mercy as an option ever again. <laughs> he will always take the kill if he has the option. Oh, take the shot. Fuck. Um, take the shot. Fuck. M. All right. So, um... Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah... Uh, I mean, he he, he he might die for another hit. I, I mean, he might die. I'm not sure how many hit points he's got, but... He's pretty messed up. Yeah, he's pretty messed up. So, uh, I'm going to try and take out... Um, I'm just going to try and take him out. Go for it. Um, yeah, yeah I'm going to try and, like, sweep him. So, here we go. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Uh, it's only 11. 11, no good. It's no good. Oh, uh, he, bro- he blocked shit. your shot with his sword. He's working his way he? through the group. Uh, Velda, you've got another go, but you are currently in melee. I am. 
Uh, you can take a five foot step back and still cast. Um, I will do that. Kay. I'll take a five foot step and cast Ray of Frost. Brand Ray space. of Frost. Range, touch, attack. Take this. Oh, it's not very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what, um, what would I add to that? Just my we best turn. Uh, it's your dex bonus, basically. Yeah, yeah, uh, my so dex bonus level. is... So that's 12. 12. Uh, that hits him with a, oh! with a touch deck, oh, so roll yes. damage. All right. Touch AC is really low. Alrighty. Magic doesn't have to penetrate armor. Oh, that's, a, that's a two. That's one. It's no, one, one. One point of damage. Um, you blast him in the shoulder. Still on his damage. Level one. God, uh, level one wizard. Uh, oh. Shania, <laughs> I need you to make a uh, a fortitude save, please. Uh, I'd make a, a constitution check, rather. So D, uh, D20 plus your constitution D20. modifier. The DC is uh, 10, plus, uh, 10 plus whatever minus you're at. Uh, 19, I got. Uh, a 19, and how many negative hit points are you on? Negative 4? Yeah. So you stabilize. Um, Stabil- okay. So you are that? stable, you are not bleeding out any further. You're not I'm losing more, but you're still, uncon- still on minus 4, still unconscious. Okay. But you're well, not losing more hit points. Right. So that's a positive. Fulton. <laughs> Fulton <laughs> is in range. Yeah! Ha ha! Just as you get it. from that oh, one poetry. I oh. love Pathfinder five rounds of build up <laughs> uh, he's probably a oh he's fumbled it oh no he might <laughs> nine <laughs> that is a fumble oh, oh, no. no that's a melee fumble so uh, bent you take a mi- <laughs> you take a minus four penalty on all attacks with this weapon until it is repaired. <laughs> oh, DC no. twenty craft check. Fuck. Oh my way! Oh, way. You just sort of leap oh, for it and like smash it on the wall. <laughs> Uh, it's been good. It's been good fumbles. Ah, <laughs> just go- after all that. After all that, I felt like it should have been you that. Yeah, yeah I thought you were yeah, going to kill it. Thing. Oh Dang my it. god! You, you come uh, that. running in finally after all this. Swing the get the, uh, <laughs> the great axe at Moncolio. He steps out of the way, uh, and the axe just slams into a rock on the ground and just bends um, oh, at the handle. God. Um, you've got a, a, a bent battle axe. It's literally like a Monty Python sketch. Like, <laughs> if the camera yeah. had just been on Fulton that entire time, it'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> jumps up the stairs, <laughs> open the door, fuck me, go down the bush, and <laughs> that's the door. Oh no, we fucking made it time. Oh, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I fucked it. I fucked it. I'm going home. <laughs> so uh, everyone's looking pretty ropey. Shania is down. Caragor, yeah. um, it's your go next, and after that, it's his go again. So. Uh, Oh, oh yeah! Oh, okay. no thanks pressure. for the thanks for the pressure there. Okay, so oh shit! So make this make this hit or <laughs> or, or someone, on, dies. someone dies. All right, so Caragor draws okay. another arrow. That's not great. It's a twelve total. In in you know. It's positive. He's going to kill all of you. He is going to have to come back up the stairs. So, you know, that's something. True, very true. Uh, right, okay, that is a miss. The arrow slams into the ground next to him. Uh, he is bleeding from so many wounds right now, um, but he is still standing, breathing heavily, uh, with a murderous look in his eye uh, as he first takes a swing at... Um, he first takes a swing at Fulton. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is going to be a hit. Yeah. So he hits you with his long sword. How many have points you on? Seven. Seven, okay, yeah, he might not knock you down with this one. He might be alright. He hits you for seven points of damage. Oh, oh my god. Unbelievable. I feel like it's back to zero. If you're on yeah. zero, you're conscious, uh, but disabled. So oh, you can good. take, when you're disabled, you're prone, and you can take a single move, or so you're staggered. You can take a move or a standard action. Okay. If you do anything which counts as a standard action, once you complete it, you drop to minus one and start dying. Right. So, drinking a, you can drink potions, you can crawl away, you can make an attack, but once you've made the attack, you immediately fall over. Yeah. Um, Fulton's come all this way, all the way around, and then in a few mere seconds, fucked up his favourite weapon, and has been knocked unconscious again. 
I uh, feel like I feel like he then uh, takes he then swings his short sword at M. God. Yeah, go on. Uh, not as good. Only a only a fourteen. Fifteen. Nice. The ring, the nine ring broadsword rings out as you put, uh, block the short sword strike. M, it is your go. On him. Kill him. Okay. Please. <laughs> Here we go. Come Please. on. Please. Come on, baby. We've been rolling so bad. It's all right. Fifteen. Fifteen. Miss. Oh, what you talking about? <laughs> Wait. I'm still standing. Technically, Fulton does still threaten, even though he's, uh, even though he's staggered. So he is flanked, which means that's a hit. Yeah! All right. Oh, all right. All right. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, eight, eight, eight points and plus one is of a, damage. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's ten. That's ten it. points. Ten damage. points of damage. Uh, that will kill him. Okay. Uh, the uh, so as he turns around, he stabs Fulton <laughs> straight in the chest as Fulton, but after Fulton bent the battle axe, but doing so exposes his flank to M, um, and you plot you block the uh, strike with short sword, similar to the strike that took out Shania. Having seen mm-hmm. it happen, you sh- uh, block it and then just bring the blade down between his shoulder blades, uh, impaling him through the back. The blade bursts out of his chest, um, and he just coughs. Uh, looks at Fulton and goes, Fuck you! And falls off the blade onto the ground. Uh, and the blades clatter onto the floor. We have killed Bobby of us. I'm gonna get. Oh, get wow. I'm gonna straddle him. At what cost? Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna get a rock. I'm just gonna pound his head into. Oh, no, fuck right, you no, you take the rock and wall. you just slam it. Can, okay, can I, can I, I can do this? Doesn't that make no, you? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, again, again and again floor. onto the guy's so head. You're gonna, you're yeah. gonna go yeah. unconscious. Until, gonna need until a moment later, gonna need Fulton's the eyes glaze over with the effort of doing it, and Fulton collapses on top of Moncolio himself, leaving a pile of Shania, Boreovus Moncolio. And Fulton lying on top of each other in a pool of blood. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Oh, oh Wow. What a mess. That was a hell of a boss fight. What a fight. Yeah, that was a boss fight, guys.